Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kenan Scott, back at you, blading on the brain, once again, with another episode. This time, it's one I've been waiting to do for a long time, and I do this on purpose, wait to do these types of reviews. So, before I jump in, as always, if you like this channel, please subscribe. We are steadily marching up to 3,000 and hopefully past 3,000 by the time this video drops on both Instagram and YouTube. So let's just keep that number growing. Let's add more people to the family. Let's upgrade our gray matters because one day it may matter. And let's skate safe so we can skate forever. I know it's been a while since I said that, but it's because it's fun, right? Shout outs to you as always, Lino. Shout outs to all my content creators out there that are doing it big, bringing inline skating and rollerblading to the masses. Really appreciate what you all are doing and trust, I subscribe to most of you. So it's time to bring this to you. I have been waiting a long time for this review, trust me. I do this on purpose. I like to take my time before I do any reviews and make sure that what I'm offering you is my honest truth, my feedback, and nothing that I haven't experienced. I like to experience it first before bringing it to you. All right. And let's talk about the cons though, because with every perfect skate, there are some challenges, and this skate has some challenges. So let's jump right in to what is on the opposite side of the pros, but I'll tell you how it weighs into my overall grade just in a moment. Cons. What's up with these skates that makes people not want them, not want to try them, not ready to make the leap? Number one, it's an investment. They are not cheap. These are expensive skates. They're gonna run you a lot of money. I don't even know what the conversion is right now. I know they're over $500. If you trick them out with aluminum frames or you get the full pro Julian Abba setup with the wheels, I'll throw the price down below me because I didn't even look it up because I know it's expensive. I already know. It's sticker shock though, right? It's expensive. Shipping is expensive. With any handmade product, you got to have some patience. So it takes a while for you to get your adapt boot. We have a whole channel on Facebook where people like just post like when they get there, your boots been shipped or your frames have been shipped because it's like excitement. Like, yes, finally they're coming. It takes a while. Be patient though. It is worth it. If you're waiting eight weeks for a pair of skates that last you three years, I would say it's worth it. Especially if they're in the colors that you love and you picked yourself and it's styled the way you wanted it. Triple worth it. Expensive, yes. Takes a while, yes. Other things people are confused about with adapts. I'll bring it back for you. There's no cuff. Like, you know, cuff screws. Those things that my sponsor, Fruitech, makes for color for your skates. <laughs> I don't use them. Why? I ain't got no cuffs. Why? Because this is a Deolene shell, and you can kind of see through the, uh, let's see here, this is a little better view. But you can kind of see how it has worn over time. And now you can see exactly where the dealing ends and how it's an internal cuff structure that is strong and sturdy. And But that means that you don't have this external flexing piece that like kind of rolls around on top of your skate. And we're really used to that. We have all skated cuffs for years. And to not have a cuff, it sets some people off. I'm not going to lie. I've seen people who don't understand how to get proper flex in these skates or have a trouble bending over sideways for royales. There is a long adjustment period for most. For me, it was about a month before I felt really, really comfortable just like laying tricks down. Um, a long adjustment period. You have to really change up some of the way you skate. And I'm going to be honest, for me, it's been for the better. Instead of focusing on my ankles as a point of rotation, I actually focus on my whole foot and really my forefoot as like the place where I start to get flex. I get flex more here than I do this way. And so in order to do tricks like Nugans and Royales, and I actually just bend my knees. I put my body in a better position. It makes my tricks look better, I believe. But also, it's just better for your body. 
it's better overall. You're not putting pressure on weird parts of your ankle that aren't meant to have your full body weight tweaked in a 45 degree angle on them. So, you know, it takes a while to get used to this type of skate. It takes a while to get on board with adapts. And I understand that that's a challenge for a lot of people. And my last con is when you do have to get replacement parts, there's no US distribution. So you're already spending a lot on shipping and I tend to just like throw a bunch of parts together into a box and get it to that point right before the shipping changes to a more expensive amount, but that I'm getting the most in that box possible. Whether it be the, you know, buckle protectors, new sole plates, new frame sliders, uh, you know, whatever it is, I'm trying to get as many of those parts. I'm waiting, literally waiting until my parts are all beat up to put them together and then finally like, you know, submit that order because it's expensive. It's going to take a little while. They are good through DHL. It doesn't get lost, but you know, you got to be prepared. And I think that's like one of the bigger cons for me too, is that they don't have US distribution of parts, screws and the like. Overall though, Stealth versus Brutale, I love the upgrades. I love the Dialene shell. I've been a carbon skater forever. The Dialene is a little more flexible. It made it a lot easier for the break in right out off the top. First few sessions, no ch no challenges getting into position, no challenges getting low because I understood how to skate at daps. Really love the removal of the two piece toe cap and just give it one smooth, seamless piece. The upgraded cuff padding, amazing. Overall, beautiful upgrade. If you're riding stealths, do take the time, look at the Brutale, and I think it'll be worth your while to upgrade. Overall score for the Adapt Julian Ba. Cool gray colorway, my Jaguar, my BSU Atlanta Soldiers. Pro Skate, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I know. I know you like, bro, you an adapt homer. Legit, though. Why do you want to spend your time putting a whole lot of accessory parts and modifications onto a skate? It's just straight out the box comfy. It is sized to your foot. So all of us with weird feet, bunions, they'll make wider spaces for you. They'll adjust the toe if you got that long pinky toe thing. Do hit me up in the comments though, cause that's crazy. They will go the extra mile, Peter and Olga, to make sure your skate is comfortable for your foot, number one. Second, it's heat moldable if there are some parts that you need like bigger ankle pocket or like some other small sections. You can get a little tab, heat mold it, put it on your skates, put something hard there and you can mold those pieces out. Durability, I don't expect to have to buy a new skate. I will probably buy a new skate cause I want to have a new look. But I don't expect to have to buy a new skate because of the durability of this skate is not falling apart for the time I skate twice a week, mainly my mini and some, some parks, occasional street. I don't blast a lot on them, my skates and hurt them, but like, I don't expect them to fall apart. They have held up and they weigh nothing. Like literally, yo, if you rolling out here with, like, I'm, I'm going to throw no one under the bag, but like SSMs, right? They don't exist anymore. So I could talk about them. I had SSMs after every session in SSMs, I would have to ice my knees. I'm not joking. Like literally would have to ice my knees because they would hurt so much from just the weight of the skate. These are light. You want to jump? You want to float? You want to get that boosty like be free? Get yourself some light skates so that they're not holding you down and you can be your best self. Forward flex. I said it was a con. It was one of the challenges for many people in adjusting to adapts. What I will say though is it can be overcome because adapts give you wax laces and you can use different lacing techniques to make this skate actually move in different ways. I'm not lying. Not only is it like heat moldable, it's comfortable, but like you can do little tweaks. So like I lace mine really loose right here because I have a wide foot and I get bunions. So I, I leave it loose, but then I cinch it up super tight right here. So I kind of have like tight, loose, tight. And then as I get up to the top, I actually skip this second eyelet, go through and come back. What that allows is for more forward flex in my tongue because I don't have the laces basically scrunching right here. This is left wide open. The only thing holding it back is the cuff strap. And so I get a ton of forward flex, right? I mean, you can see it. Like look how easy it is for my tongue to move in these skates. And you can see the little rub right there where I'm actually 
tied my laces and are completely every time I skate making little you know rubs in the the beautiful suede here. most of the challenges that I've found with these skates I've been able to overcome with lacing and giving myself a little more flexibility or a little more stability or space in places where I need it nine and a half for all those reasons and did I mention it's skater owned we talk a lot about it we throw it out there we praise those skater entrepreneurs but let's not forget that Adapt is skater-owned, couple putting it down, making it their life's work to make handcrafted, beautiful skates for everybody. That could be big wheel flow session. You could be an inline aggressive skater. Doesn't matter. Speed skaters alike. They are making skates for people who love to roll. That's another bonus point for me, to be 100% honest. I like to support skaters. I like to see owners skate. And I like to see owners create products for all types of inline skating. That's another bonus. That's another reason why nine and a half is my score for the Julian Ba. I could call it ghost face because I got the logos. Pro Brutale skate in this beautiful gray colorway. Next up, I'm going to clean it up, get them all set back up nice and pretty and get back to skating. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate y'all watching what sometimes are lengthy reviews because I care a lot about giving you as much information as I can about the products that I skate and the products that I test. Do join me again. If you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you know when the next one drops. And as always, hashtag it. Upgrade your gray matter because the day that it does matter, Lord, help us. I'll be doing too much. <laughs> appreciate you being here. Catch you later. Peace.